So start by taking a very, very sharp knife and we want to take a minute to dice up our mushrooms relatively fine. Use a selection of different wild mushrooms for a real depth of flavour and we just want to chop our way through them. They don't have to be uniform but do dice them up into little centimetre cubes roughly as we don't want big chunks of mushroom in our sauce. Once you've done this pop your mushrooms into a bowl and stick them to one side while we quickly make our stock. We don't want the stock to be too concentrated and strong. I start with a concentrated stock and when I pour it into the roux I can always add some hot water to balance it out. Pop your stock to one side, so take a frying pan, pop in a little splash of olive oil, pop it onto a high heat and then chuck in your mushrooms. Season with sea salt and black pepper and we want the mushrooms to be nicely sizzling away, we don't want them to boil. Once we've removed the water, and you can see they're getting nice and golden brown. Chuck in a nice knob of butter to finish off your mushrooms. And when they're nice and golden brown, remove them from the heat and just pop them into a bowl, ready until we need them. Pop them to one side and now we need to make our roux. So take a saucepan or a Dutch oven, pop it onto a medium heat, chuck in about a tablespoon of butter, and once the butter melts, go in with about a tablespoon of flour. Cook off the rawness of the flour until you've got a nice paste. Add any more butter and flour that you need. Give it another couple of minutes and when you've got a nice thick paste, we want to start pouring in our stock. Go in with about half to a full cup of stock. Give this a stir through until it starts to become silky and creamy and keep adding more until the sauce is at the consistency that you like. We want it to be nice and thick, glossy and rich, about the same consistency as double cream. And once you have your beautiful basic velouté sauce to the consistency that you like, take it off of the heat, replace with a different saucepan and chuck in your mushrooms and start to spoon in your velouté sauce. Chuck in a nice knob of butter to finish the sauce Gently heat through for about five minutes to infuse the velouté with the mushroomy flavour. Give it a good stir through and then we're ready. We want it to be silky, smooth and delicious, packed full of gorgeous wild mushrooms. This sauce really is to die for guys, my wild mushroom velouté sauce.